I've been up, but still. Okay. We're gonna go do the first Colossus. Ah. Ah, sometimes I hate getting on the horse. Yeah! Yes, the Colossus is straight this way. I know this while I'm recording, it seems to sound lagging. I can fix it on the next ones. But right now, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, if you want to, before you go fight the Colossus, there's a fruit on this tree. I think the fruit increases your health. Ah, where's the fruit? Figures I can't see it. This is more epic than hunting for the Colossus. Hunting for the freaking fruit that I can't see. You know, let's just fire randomly. You know what? Let's just climb the tree. It's a lot easier to see it that way. <sighs> Crap, anyways. And no, I'm not planning on finding all the fruits and lizard, the little white tail things that increase your, um, stamina bar or whatever you want to call it. I see it. Okay, let's shoot the fruit down. Yeah, I'm not going to make a guide on where to find all these. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. What button was it to pick it up? Ah, here we go. Yes, it increases your maximum health. Now, let's call the horsey and get out of here. Arg. And if you want to kick your horse constantly, it still moves in fan yeah. base. Yeah. Before the Colossus, first we're going to have to climb a mountain. Yeah. It's pretty much teaching you how to climb. Yeah. Eh, this isn't hard to climb at all. Through me. Just like the Colossus, you can only climb on the furry patches. Grass, whatever, moss. Oh, that was a smart move. Let's fall off the cliff already. I don't see why the first Colossus gives people trouble. Or a few of them. Most of them aren't. Extremely hard, but a few really are. Ugh. The third Colossus ain't one of my favorites. He's old. Actually, he's one of my favorites. He's just freaking annoying. He was the first one I considered hard. Uh, gotta climb mountains, kill a Colossus just to save a girl who's already dead. Awesome. Okay. Sometimes jumping from like thingy here to thingy there, well, that was a great explanation. Sometimes it doesn't work right for me. And here he comes. The giant Minotaur Colossus. Well, that's what it reminds me of. I forgot their names. I think this was the wool. Get its attention. Okay, what do you want to do? Jump on its left leg, and stab it so if you, it falls down, and you can get on top of it. Ah, try not to miss though. See the thing that gets people is because usually you're supposed to use your sword to find the weak points in the Colossus. That, if it's your first time playing the game, it is actually pretty hard. And annoying if you can't find it. So once you get up here, we're going to have to climb up to its head. Which isn't that hard. Walk slowly so you don't have a better chance of falling. Get 
Vietnam. Yay. This won't take too long. A stamina meter is well, full or almost full. Your stamina meter. And yeah, if you think you're about to fall, let go of it and try not to fall so your stamina gets back up. There are people, that's it. That's the first Colossus. Why do people have trouble on it? Maybe that's because they didn't know where the weak points were. Now on hard mode, there's another weak point on him. Yes, I've done this on hard mode. But that's what's the difference. More weak point. Well, after you kill the Colossus, you know, you're on around, these black streams come out of it, out of nowhere, it just like rams you through the heart, and you die. <laughs> You don't actually die. I can't tell you what, what's the um, point of all the Colossus, like, whatever you want to call it, souls, all that crap going into them. You'll find out at the end. But also, whenever you kill a Colossus, your health and grip meter, stamina meter, whatever, goes up. You become stronger. Let's save. I'm gonna have to pause there on my, after this little video and go take a break, then I'm pause and do the other one later. Uh, well, at least there isn't no giant loading screen to death. Hey, what are you? Evil shadow figure from my dreams that haunts me. And my wife, who's dead. You killed her! No, I'll just do nothing except lay here. Oh, wait, I'm getting up. After destroying the first Colossus, the first, well, idol, statue, whatever you want to call it, is going to break. And we have 15 more to go. You're one step closer to saving your girlfriend. What is the price you'll pay after destroying the 16 Colossus? As Dormin said. <laughs> and here it goes. The statue imploded. Yeah, that more looked like a, that looked like that looked like more of an implosion than an explosion. Each Colossus, Dormin or Dormin, whatever, will tell you a hint on where the next Colossus is and what it is. Thy next foe is in the seaside cave. It moves slowly. Actually, I expect this one fast. Raise thy courage to defeat it. Now go, Link. Get the Triforce. The stop Ganon. I don't know why, but this game reminded me of Legend of Zelda for a little while, for a brief moment, except giant fights. I mean, you don't really use your sword like Link, but you get it. Link hacks and slashes away. You stab, 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 rippy, rippy, stab, stab. You can't control the camera also during cutscenes a little. And he just told you that you can save the dead altar. Nothing important. <sighs> oh yeah, and the next Colossus is right this way. It's hard to see, but it's on the other side. Uh, we'll go for it soon. But for now, like I said, we're gonna save and I gotta pause it. You can tell when I shut the game off. I'll do the little zooming in thing after I reload. Well, uh, nah, 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 at least it doesn't take that long to save. Colossus number two is coming up next. The quadruped, or whatever you call it. So, see you soon. <laughs>